Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to make a quick video about my experience with constipation on the carnivore diet and switching over the carnivore diet from a raw vegan diet. Everybody's bodies are different, I understand that, and what works for me may or may not work for you. And this is just my experience and what I have used from the very beginning when I first started and what I use today if there is constipation. On the carnivore diet, constipation is a little bit different. Coming from a raw vegan diet, you're going to the restroom, you can even go several times a day. So everything is pretty much coming out of you very quickly and you feel that empty feeling a lot. Whereas on the carnivore diet, meat is an extremely dense and nutritious food so the body wants to utilize it and it can utilize it more it can digest it better and you can use that protein more than the fiber and the um, high water content like fruits it's not necessarily that you are constipated it's just that your body is able to keep that food in longer, the meat, and digest it much better and use it up. So what your volume of meat that you're taking in, when you take it in, it might be this much, but then when you excrete it, it might be just like this much. So you know that your body is really using that. So you just have to get used to it being in you, I guess as opposed to the um, raw vegan where it comes out much more quickly and the carnivore, it stays in you longer and it's just a kind of feeling, depending on how long you've been raw vegan and all that, it's a feeling that you have to get used to it. Like now, four and a half months later, I don't feel anything that is, is weird or different, but at the beginning, I certainly did feel like strange, like I wanted to come out and hasn't come out yet. It's just, it's just different, right? <laughs> Meat is just different. So the first things that I used when I first went on the carnivore diet from having severe ulcerative colitis, when I transitioned, I had very bad ulcerative colitis and a lot of um, bleeding and amongst other things. When I first transitioned, I focused on getting the bacterial balance. So I focused on trying to increase the healthy microflora and or the microbiome and then decrease and kill off the bad bacteria, the, the chronic H. pylori that I had. I was taking three things. I was taking raw honey for the antibiotic for the bad bacteria. I was eating that and I was also taking iodine, iodine, yeah, droplets. And then just to kind of bind and sweep away and you know, bind the bad bacteria and get it out of me. I was using this teramin, which is basically like the diatomaceous earth. It's just the powdered mineral clays taking the black charcoal powder for um, the constipation and binding the bad bacteria and getting it out. I'm, I'm trying to go in order here, so I'm trying to think of from the very beginning. Specifically, like this kind of beet powder. This is, I got this from a Polish store. It's a Polish product, but it's beet soup and the, it's a powdered form of beet. Or it comes in, in a case like this. When I make my broth from my chicken or my beef, I'll add some of this and then I'll have that soup with the meat and this broth and that really helped me at the beginning. Um, it cleansed me a lot, it made, it, there, it, beets are good with electrolytes so it gave me that electrolyte boost. Two months in about something like that, I was um, drinking the pickle juice. Um, this is the kind of juice that I also got from the Polish store and it comes in like big barrel. They don't make this by itself, it comes with the pickles. You just take this for yourself 
the pickles are obviously good for you too. Any fermented food is good for that. Um, but the pickles that you know that this is the right kind is the pickles they look like soggy cucumbers over the commercial pickles from the store. So this was not from a jar from the store. This was like more homemade. And if you want to make your own homemade um, pickles, by all means, and the pickle juice is really good for electrolyte. It really gives you a boost if you're like down, if your like digestion feels slow and you just need like a you know, pick up or something like that and that pickle juice is amazing every time I've had it. Every time I do drink it, um, maybe I'll drink like a glass or something and then maybe an hour or two after I will feel so thirsty. You know, I won't eat anything for a while after that pickle juice and then I'll drink like a, a lot of water to quench my first thirst and then after that water, anywhere after that point, I will definitely, a lot of stuff will come out and anything that's like constipated inside of there, I had no problem, it usually came out and the pickle juice is really good for getting rid of the bad bacteria and the, the worms. So something universal from when I started to what I'm still doing now is raw milk, very good for the bacteria, for feeding the good bacteria, just raw milk, not the pasteurized kind. Um, it's it balances your digestion so much and if you are lactose intolerant I have read that a lot of people that even though they were lactose they had the raw milk and they didn't have any adverse side effects from it but please you know use your own discretion maybe try a little bit and see how it goes from also kefir which is fermented milk is really good for the digestion just make sure you get the unsweetened natural kind more recently what I've been doing is juicing and the juicing has been really helping me with um, keeping myself regular and because I have you know at first three months I was primarily very strict just meats and the fermented foods this is more of a um, healing carnivore di gut diet than just strictly carnivore. I'm not saying the carnivore doesn't heal the gut for sure. I've, I've heard stories it really does, um, but this is kind of more broad diet that I've discovered for specifically healing the gut. And the main juice that I did was celery and grapefruit, a concentrated juice that I made that I would store in a big jar in the fridge and I would have about this much with a big glass of water right before I went to sleep and that really helped me because I was not taking the um, apple cider vinegar but this acted kind of the same way as the apple cider vinegar because all of the enzymes in it. This juice consisted of um, like a handful because this is a concentrated version, right? You put it in a big jar. So a handful of ginger root, fresh ginger root, um, in oranges, about like four oranges, about two grapefruits, um, and maybe four limes. But the thing is that I would juice the skin of the grapefruit and the limes on. So I wouldn't peel them off. And I would make sure to wash them in a bowl of vinegar and water and that helps to wash the skin thoroughly so there's not any dirt or any whatever pesticides on the skin. And then I would juice it that way and it's just like the it just helps your digestion so much in the morning. It's easier to go to the restroom. And that's kind of a great fat burner as well. I don't really do that anymore um, because after the three months, I started eating things like sourdough bread, which is okay. I guess the, I heard is the best kind of bread for your gut. So I was eating that and I was not having any problems from that. And so I kind of was eating that and then at the same, t same time doing the juices. But now, because my diet is a little bit different, I got off the, the bread. One more thing I wanted to mention um, that helps me in the morning if I don't take that concentrated juice the night before 
is in the morning I have a tea and it took me a while because I was looking for a kind of like boost, caffeine boost, but of course coffee, I cannot, I don't want to drink coffee, I, I tried it and then I was swollen and I just like, coffee doesn't go with me. So I thought it was the caffeine, but it wasn't, I tried different teas, I tried green teas and black teas and just I had various symptoms and it didn't go well for me either until I thought there must be a tea that is healthy for you know um, healing um, the ulcerative colitis and healing the digestion and helping with the good bacteria and I found this tea it's called Po Er Yunnan tea and this tea is like fermented for eight years or more or less depending on what you buy and it has caffeine of course and I got it off of Amazon and this was like amazing I still drink this every single day with some raw milk and coconut oil raw coconut oil I'll take a tablespoon of raw coconut oil and that just helps me so much in the morning if I am constipated, then that constipation is alleviated. If I'm not constipated, then nothing comes out. But I think the coconut really helps to kind of like smooth everything there. It also helps with kind of getting into that ketosis mode, especially in the morning. And it just like kind of boosts you up with the, with the natural tea. And that is like one of the best things I found and I think I'll be drinking that Yunnan tea for for a really long time because it I feel like it's doing good for me and I'm not having any bad side effects from it. So that is really everything I wanted to mention. This was supposed to be a short video but oh well. Um, I hope that really helped you guys if you have um, constipation on this carnivore kind of lifestyle or maybe even keto lifestyle that is everything thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video guys bye